welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy and today is a simple craft along. I'm just doing some more ephemera for the purple journal. So I've got out that ink splattered card, these lovely photos again. Um, still not sure if I'm going to use that inside the cover so we won't play with that but we've got that one um oops and i've got a little little wooden plaque there so i might like to do something with that we've got our fabrics here as well so that's all good and handy we'll put that over there um and i was just going to grab a couple of envelopes because i think the one thing that we've not done as yet is envelopes so I've got these are actually new ones I have to be honest I've got a long thin one here so yep that'll be a good size in the cream and then I've got a short one there because we want one in each signature don't we but we want them slightly different oh, I've got one of those really annoying tops on I'm sure you know what I mean where the label at the back is itching me oh really annoying anyway <clears throat> so let's have a look at what we'd like to do with these so the question is am I gonna sew them in in which case I want them that way or am I gonna slide it with a paper clip oh let's stitch them in so they need to go that way okay so First things first, I'm going to keep jumping around because this top is driving me crazy. I want to break out some of this fabric. It's a lovely fabric. It's got a, like a natural crinkle to it. So let's go straight up that seam there. Um, got poppers on the bottom. And straight down that seam there get rid of that bigger piece now let's have a look just think if we cut the band off or tear off the band yeah tear tears beautifully that's good all right um, we obviously want to go about there Sorry, the obvious thing I was going to say is we don't want that elastic around the leg, do we? So, we come across there, across there. We've got some lovely scraggles going on. And then I think if we go up there, like so, that's Boo you can hear mooching around. And if I can, can I pull that off? So, how are you all? What are you all up to? There you go. So we've got a nice bit of straggly fabric. Always makes me happy. So I think we're going to start with that. So let's get some... Oh, just one second. I'll be back. Sorry, Boo was scratching at the door to get out. So, um, right, fabric glue. So, oh, oh, up and down the middle, like that. Where's my little spreader gone? Goodness knows, don't know where anything is anymore. Can't find the spreader, we might have to use a paintbrush. Do, 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 do. And of course now I can't find a big paintbrush either. So, palette knife works just as well it's a spreader isn't it of forms right sorry so how are you all what are you all up to what's going on in your world busy old week for me this week um it's actually tuesday so i went to my mum's yesterday it's the monday for my mum's Today I've got appointments I need to attend, so I should be off out in a minute. Um, 
Tomorrow is my day with my friend Denise, um, which I always look forward to. And then Thursday, we're taking the children to London. Okay, set that one up there. Don't want to do this one obviously exactly the same. So yeah, busy old week. Um, <coughs> I don't usually go in and out anywhere near as much as that. I'm usually just here. Um, I'm also waiting on several parcels. So that's also exciting. Can't pick my scissors up. They're stuck under the fabric. So about there I think that is. Oh. Um. Then Friday, hubby's out. Um, and then that obviously means I can't get my shopping on Friday, my food shop. So I'll be food shopping Saturday while he's around at my daughter's working on her wall. So yeah, busy old week here. Um, I quite like being busy. But I don't necessarily like getting dressed and going out and mixing with Joe Public. I'm sorry. <laughs> I find that generally, you know, I'm happier in my own space here at home. But I refuse to become a recluse. So that's, you know, got to go out. Got to go out. Again, a bit ruffled, don't want it completely flat, we want a bit of life in it. Okay, so while that one's having a chance to dry off a little bit, we'll bring this one back. I think, put these scissors away Claire before you attempt to cut paper with them. I think we'll find the tear ruler, or maybe we won't, goodness knows where that is. There. Um, we'll get a nice torn edge going down there. Oh, that was how bad was that? Why did one of you not say, Claire, get a life? You know, I mean, that's really bad. That's better, right? So going to go for quite a thin bit I think about there and the beauty of it being double sided is obviously we can use the other fabric on the other side so that's going to sit in there going to sit in the centre like that but we want some stuff underneath don't we for interest so a bit of that might be nice do we need the whole length probably yeah but I'm just going to snip up the middle a bit more interest and two for the price of one not that I'm tight or anything <laughs> great to see that there's lots of you that are <clears throat> not only commenting in the boxes below the videos lately but you're also commenting in conversation form so there's almost like a question to be answered so I then come back to you you know again so yeah it's a nice sort of dialogue we seem to have going on at the moment which is great i'm loving it thank you so much right glue the rest of this and i know i'm using fabric glue let's be honest it's all basically pva doesn't really make that much difference to be honest with you right 
pick that up. And that is going to go there. Like that. So we're building up our layers. It's all about the layers. Then we're going to want a different lace. So should we have some of this one? But again, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a two for one going on this one. So I want it much shorter now because I want it for one of these pictures. So I only want it about that big. Like that. But I'm going two for one. So I'm going to snip across this line here like that and we'll have that there now which picture are we going to use what about these lovely dried roses well it's not much to do with stitching is it the dried roses so we'll go for that one that one underneath there so yeah it's all happening That will teach me from moaning the other day about every day being the same and there not being much going on. See? Now it's crazy. And it's super crazy because I thought we were taking the children out next week. <laughs> so it's come as a bit of a shock. Right, that's too wide for my liking. So I'm going to take the sides off, like so. And pop it down like that. That's lovely. But again, I feel like I want even more. So what have I got in here? Oh. Oh. What if we back that on there first? So, where's the pinking shears? Because that's what we've got going on there, isn't it? So, and I like that it's a little bit on the sides, but there's a lot on the top and bottom. So, need this. All the way round. I should have put that that side. Oh well, what we'll do is we'll do it that way. And then we'll overlap this. Because otherwise it's going to interfere with the spine, which we don't want. Oh no, on top. Definitely on top. That's better. Happy with that. Loving that. All good. So, a bit of that there. We'll pop that there. like so we've got a little line showing through there but that's gonna go on top so i think we'll get away with that and obviously it's a bit wet and sloppy at the moment we really need some drying off time but you haven't got drying off time when you're making a video so Should have known actually that the blue was going to come through that silk. I think we can get away with it. I'm going to have a little bit down there. And we're going to pop this bit on there. Like that. 
Now that is a beautiful looking envelope, isn't it? So I'm going to set that to dry because it's really quite sloppy and the damp has gone through. Look, and it's almost sealed itself shut. I thought that was happening. Let's, um, let's double up there with a bit of glue stick. There we go. So we set that to one side so that can dry. Now let's have a look at this one. Now, this one we're going to use this way, aren't we? So This one I think, because we don't want them always to be exactly the same, this one I'm going to set to one side like that. It's got, picture, oh, it's got to be the corset I think, hasn't it? We use the whole of this one this time. As I say, no tutorial, just simple craft along. Um, I'm wanting, yes, yeah, see, look how beautiful is that. I'm wanting to move forward and get this finished now because, um, as always, I've got something else that I want to be working on. It's too dense. what about a bit of this dark purple so we could sort of go like that couldn't we scissors 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 oh dear if you saw yesterday's video where I couldn't find um, the bag that was hysterical um, working on the 50 stack change and I just I totally lost where I'd put the bag right so that can sort of screw up like that so let's um, let's think about this there's our thingy that's gonna go there in fact it could actually fall to be a bit shorter this one there we go that's gonna sit there that will sit there and a picture is going to sit there like that love it right okay so this down first this only paper so glue stick not glue stick but glue stick Gonna go backwards off of the fabric. Gonna press that down, and then take this bit of fabric and try and make sure that we keep the wrinkles. Because the wrinkles are what make it as far as I'm concerned. So I need a little bit more glue under this corner. I can always tell there's people here because you hear the floorboards creaking and that as people move around. <laughs> oh dear, it's hubby. Moving around. Moving around. No, shut up Claire, shut up. <laughs> Oh dear. See, perhaps I need a busy week to get me out. <laughs> oh dear. All this time indoors. Starting to frazzle the brain. Okay. So we've got that one looking like that. We need something across here. 
So I'm just going to go in my little bits and bobs. Oh, look, just staring at me just there is a big purple bow. Look at that. Thank you, Shabby. That comes from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. You've seen these bows many, many times. Just staring at me, it was. As I opened the box, it was just meant to be. Look at that. Just meant to be, that was. Love it. So, here's our second envelope. So that can sit up there with the other one. That is a no. Sit up there with the other one. That can dry. Now, I thought what I would do with these is make some journal cards. Because this is the last one now. So, journal cards, I usually like to be about four by six or four by five. So, if we go... First of all, give ourselves a nice crinkly edge. Let's start there. So, crinkly edge. Da -da, crinkly edge. And then we'll line this up on there. Like so. And I've got one, two, three, four. So on the 21, which is that one there. Whoops. Like that. Then we need a crinkly edge. Oh, it's blue having a big sigh. Her life is so hard. Did I tell you it's her birthday on Saturday just gone? And she had steak. I mean, such a hard life. I'll go for five and a half, I think. There. That's a nice size journal card. Yeah. So now we need five and a half again. One, two, three, four, five. That's that one there, right at the end. Oh. There we go. So we've got two. <clears throat> we'll make four. I'm going to have to jump up and put the fan on, I think, in a minute. Five and a half. there and then oh we haven't done got a straight edge there look there we go So we have got four nice sized journal cards that are all different patterns. So I think what we're going to do, how wide is that? Mm, we're going to have two up and two across probably. Right, let me just put the fan on one second. That's better. I know you can hear it, I'm sorry. But, whoa, it's warm in here. Um, now, oh, nice bit of white lace there. Vintage book page, probably, don't we? Um, what have we got? I seem to have lost, lost is a lie. Oh, I seem to have lost my little red vintage dictionary. Um, oh, and it's hard to tear. I've got two. 
don't know what I've done with it. It's around here somewhere, obviously. And I need to find that, aren't I? Right. Sorry, I'm not very talkative to this because I'm, as always, crafting on the fly. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. So I'm thinking as I go. So I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to have this around the corner. Although I suppose with the writing, this should be one that goes across the page. So, let's get scissors here. Yeah. See, this is why I lose stuff, because I just pop it down without really thinking about it. That was too big, I decided, so we only want half of that. Don't want to cover up all that writing, so we don't want one of those. Um, so this might be where we stick with the vintage. And let's have a look what's happening in this lovely... French magazine and see what we could maybe add from here right now what have we got on this one this is a cute little girl there but we want that so I don't want to tear that up I'm probably going to want them at some time but we could pull off Some of this writing. So keep the date. Because we might want to use that as a hole in something. But we could have some of this. So if we tear down to the side advert make it a bit smaller there get rid of this we're losing too much of the words so now I'm like ooh don't quite know what to do with that so are we gonna have another look in our well, bag box envelope whatever you want to call it what else oh I suppose we come back to buttons do we button cards and buttons No, I don't like it. See, this is what happens when you craft on the fly. What's in our little box? We've always got a stamp. Got some gold leaf there, but we don't really want to be using that. Don't want to use really another. We've got some of Tracy Fox's blue. Is it too blue? I think the blue works actually with the purple, doesn't it? Um, and also, look at this, I've got a blue butterfly, that might work nicely, because also it's got that newsprint behind it, so maybe we'll do a couple of them, and also of course, oh, let's not forget the classic paper dolls. Right, so, got a bit more to work with now. We've expanded outside of the envelope. So, we're going to go for... Hmm, 
Oh, look, ribbon. Da da. So we're going to go for ribbon. So let's glue this because this is definitely going on the back. Like so. Okay. And then we've got Ribbon on there. This bit is going to go here as a bit of a sort of tab, I think that'll be nice. So then what have we got in our people? So, girls from the office. On their lunch break. They look much more like office workers, but I'm going to have to cut all their feet off. <laughs> You don't want to be cutting people's feet. That's a couple, um, but to me that doesn't make sense. It feels like a work thing, so I feel like oh nope. See, and obviously we don't want ah. Oh. See now, oh God, I cut all their legs off. We'll use that on one of the um, that one that I just had that I liked. Where's it gone? That one with the three women. We'll use that on an upright one in a minute. Again, all the girls from the office. Is that the same one that I just used? Mm. Ah. No. You just got to get the right, it's really weird, you just got to get the right feel. And I don't think it's happening in there. So... Um, we won't be using people on this one <laughs> unless we go no because then the writing goes the wrong way doesn't really make me very happy when that happens right let's put this on here because we know this is definitely going on here as like a tab okay so that's definitely going on there what about one of the oh, I can never think what these are called flashcards little glory funny wish fly but that's the other thing you have to find the right words wings lost found no see it's just not right is it Okay, where did I put the butterflies? Here. I think I'm going with a butterfly. Look, that just feels so right. It feels right and it makes it a bit three dimensional. Yes, I should have stuck my original thought. You see what happens? Don't go dilly dallying around. 
Now the argument is obviously, had I not have already made this, I could have just been using the front rather than all of it, but it's pre-made. I want to see the date across the top, so that's why I'm working out where to put that. And then what I will most likely do is I'll put some coffee dyed paper on the back and then I'll stitch all the way around the edge. So there's another one there. Now I want to use a long one, do one long ways so that we can use these ladies. So if we go that side like that, oh, do we just want two ladies? I think maybe we just want two ladies. So here we go. Let's snip them apart. Like that. And then I think we'll have lace down the side there. Now, do we do another short bit as a tag? We could maybe do it down the bottom there. What do we think about that? I like that. So, if we cut this there on that bit, that will go there like a tab. They will. Ah, come on. They will come up. Need something else there. Right, okay, let's stick this down first of all. So. We know where we're going with this. We'll stuck that down like that. Do we need... Oh. No. See? Discount. Boston. Maybe. Bookseller, lino type, typewriter, writing fluid. So the only thing that works, bearing in mind that's French, is the Paris. So let's pull out. Actually, we could have the number as well, can't we? So I'm going to have Paris. Let me have a little bit of this silk. Oh, look at that. Let's have a bit of that silk. So, we put our silk on there, like that. What have I just, I just knocked something on the floor. We can have. Paris there, we can put our, is it 1952, no, 517.2, it's almost like a, a die number or a pattern number or something. Seriously, fingers and thumbs or what? So that's going to go there this one is going to be on the opposite at the top this one is where we're going to put our fabric tab piece again 
like the fabric tab thing we've got going on and then these ladies oh look they're gonna stand there almost like they're on the catwalk or something isn't it with that Paris sign there yeah love that so let's glue these ladies down I like to use my Yuvu for this I'm sure I've said it before because they're quite heavy duty these things um, oh look at that just caught it and it's um, it's good to have a, some glue that's got a bit of welly and you're sticking these down right we had her there like there we go how snazzy is that I wonder if we do I need something else on there no I think I like it no interferes with my lady so there's the second one Oh, we're really motoring, aren't we? In fact, I've kept you quite a while, haven't I? Should we stop there? Or should we keep going? Be a tuck, could not it? Then if we go back to this with our corset, have I got, yeah I've got one up and one, one horizontal and one vertical. better we put that there and that there we stick that down properly then we've got a little pocket on it um, and we need a bit of something as a fabric tab again don't we and then that one has got to go that way so oh what about a bit of gingham so we could just snip snip And we can just literally put a little tab so before I do that where did I put here precious let's just get a piece of well so it's too precious it's all precious isn't it but I, I haven't got as much of that as I've got of this so maybe like that like that and then that is our pocket that's on there and then that's a that's 
that's her do you know what i'm gonna stop because i feel like i'm doing it for the sake of doing another two now rather than really putting my heart into it so i'm gonna stop there and i will do those another day but what we have got is envelope number one envelope number two and then we've got an upright journal card and a sidewards journal card there you go four more extras thanks for being here stay safe i'll see you very soon yeah.